Why don't you like using African American, by the way? Because as I trace my roots back in this country, my the majority of my roots, the ones that are more meaningful to me, were the slaves that were my foreparents, my forefathers. And so I identify as a black American, more so than an African American. Yes, many of the slaves came from Africa, but my heritage is mostly here in the United States with the, the country went through slavery, we went through the civil rights movement, so I prefer the term black American rather than African American. That's going back too far. Hello everybody, welcome once again to our channel. This is AfriPost and I am Victor. Now, the other day I gave you a video talking about African Americans, how you can come to Africa and have a lifetime experience. I explained to you some of our cultures that we have and I told you that Africa is a cocktail of culture where you come and you will enjoy each and every day that you'll be here. Some of you came in the comment section as I said and told me that you are ready to come to Africa, but there is only one problem you have with me. You are not African Americans. You are Americans of African descent. So I wanted to understand what is the truth behind this claim. Because many of you said that some of our ancestors sold you out. They went, sold some of their brothers for a few coins and a few goods that they were given. And then they left them to go and suffer. So you are the children of that slavery. And that is what happens. I was perplexed and I said, I have to really do some deep research and understand what is going on here. Now, I went searching online again. If there is any notable person who also has similar belief that Africans or blacks in the United States are not African Americans. And I came across one notable person, Vodi Bochman. Vodi Bochman in a video was kind of trying to explain that blacks in the United States do not have any link with Africans in the African continent. I want you to take a listen to this clip. Take a listen. There have been several iterations, colored, Negro, black, Afro-American. We have to define ourselves as a group. We have to hyphenize ourselves. The African-American one is just horrible. We're inconsistent with it. For example, if somebody comes from Morocco or from Libya, we don't call them an African-American. We're only talking about people from Sub-Saharan Africa. Okay, fine. Charlize Theron is South African. No, because she's white, but she's from Africa. Yeah, but... Her ancestors are not from there. Three, four, five generations of them are. Normal African-American, that, that's a term that we use for individuals of African descent who survived slavery. See, uh, I, I'm a person, I, I resent being called an African-American. I really do. Now, I've traveled all over the world, and Africa is one of the few places in the world that I've never been yet, okay? But I think that when you do that, you're disclaiming all the things, all the co contributions that black people have made to America. You see, I consider myself to be a black American, and I enjoy being called black. And black has been so negativized as a color down throughout history by those who wanted to negativize it. And so it spilled over into the black community, into the black people. And even black people back in the day calling each other black was a sign for a fight or something like that because it had been so negativized, like black was just so negative. So I resent being called an African-American because black people have contributed so much to the development of the United States of America. Before we proceed, my question to you is, do you agree with Vody Bochman that blacks in America have suffered the problem of identity crisis because they are forced to hyphenize themselves to prove their existence to other ethnicities within the, con the, 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 the country. I don't know what you think about this, but please answer that down in the comment section because we still have many more good things to share with you together. Now, when I went searching again, I realized that this problem is not only in the United States. To my surprise, blacks in the Caribbean also do not want themselves to be referred to as Africans, African Caribbeans. You get that? Because they say that they do not have any link with Africans. Now this is Dr. Imani Tafari. 
trying to talk about the problem in Jamaica and why while the country is close to 90% black, most of them do not feel to be part of Africa or do not want to identify themselves as blacks. Take a listen to the doctor. And so you cannot tell the average Jamaican right now that they are African, even though 90% of the population is predominantly of African descent. You can tell the Indian that they are Indian and they have a clear sense of what Indianness looks like and, and, and feels like. And we even absorb that because you know, of course, what Dal and Bath is, you know, that's the kind of food coming from there and where Indian communities are. If you ask about Chinese, People are very clear about who Chinese are, whether it's the old Chinese or the new Chinese in Jamaica. It's, it's a very clear sense of identity. If you ask who the Jews are, you, you have no notion, the Syrians. But you ask about the Africans, and then people look sideways at you and wonder if you're going mad and, and, and have a, 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 a retort ready for you to say, no, no, but you're Jamaican. But if you came from Africa as corn, and are planted in Jamaica or Trinidad or Tobago, you don't become peas, you're still corn. So it, it is, again, a disconnection, a disconnect between um, our past selves and our sense of history and the, 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 the loss of that sense to the, the, the reconstruction of ourselves in other people's image and likeness and, and therefore that's the recipe for cognitive dissonance. For me, if you ask me, I believe that all blacks across the world have their ancestry back in Africa. And that is why if you do a genealogy search through your genetic makeup, you will realize that you are linked to some of the people living in Africa. While it may be to a certain small percentage, but you will find yourself linked to a certain region. Like you might find yourself that you're from West Africa, you're from Nigeria, tribes that are there in Nigeria, Ghana, you're also from Senegal, you're from those West African countries. Because, so for me, I believe that blacks, whether you're in the Caribbean, whether you're in, the, in Europe, whether you are in Russia, for instance, that upper side, whether you are in the United States of America, all of you have a link to the African continent. You know, most of our blacks are taught to hate themselves. That is why you find that most people are not happy to identify themselves with Africa. But one thing I can tell you as an African living in Africa, this continent is full of many resources. And some of the countries that are there in Europe, in United States, are surviving and their economies are booming because of the resources that we have. Africa is rich in resources. Africa is rich in good climate. Africa is rich in everything, culture and everything that you, you'd want to have. So my plea is still here. Come to Africa. First of all, find a country that you want to come to because it's all like an adventure that you are doing. Come to Africa, choose a continent, choose a country that you want to visit. Try to ask yourself, what is it that I want to know about these people? Because by just coming and meeting us here, you will really be doing yourself a good thing because that experience alone of meeting new people, interacting with them, sharing cultures, talking about issues, it will be something that will make you be uplifted. So for me, I still call on you. My brothers on the other side, we welcome you home and this is home. Even if you may not want to be identified as an African American, accept that we share a race. And this race can be traced back to our ancestry. And that is why all of us are one people. Let us join hands and be together as blacks and embrace and accept that we are good. Let's stop with this negative publicity that the whites have pushed on us. That's my take and I believe all Africans, those who have listened to me, will appreciate that Africa is the place to be. Thank you and let's meet in our next 
video. Bye-bye.